Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about the state of cryptocurrency right now as it is. Have we entered the bear market and what is possibly to come in the future for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency? So before we get into the video, I do want to make sure to ask you to hit that like button to help out the YouTube algorithm and recommending this video for more people so more people can learn about cryptocurrency, what's going on and kind of what to look for. So let's get into the video today. So of course, we're going to start here on coin market cap and just kind of look at some of the pop most popular cryptocurrencies here, which Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, top three here, all down. As you can see, Bitcoin is down 3.46% today and 20.13% on the week. So the Bitcoin initially started dropping because Elon Musk on Twitter said that you can no longer purchase a Tesla using Bitcoin due to the environmental concerns that he has about Bitcoin. Now, I did do a video on this specifically with my thoughts and a brief recap. I think that that was uh, not the right move for him specifically because while he does own an electric car company, he also owns a rocket company and shoots rockets all the time, so that's not very helpful to the environment. And there have also been numerous studies done from accredited universities that show that the Bitcoin power draw, a lot of it is actually renewable, more than many other sectors like the fashion industry, the gaming industry, and gold mining specifically, if you want to stick to just the financial sector. So his claims for Bitcoin being inefficient. While they are true, it does use a lot of power. There are things that use a lot more power that people consume a lot more, and he's not as clean as he says he is, in my opinion. I also think that the sell-off that was caused by that was a bit of a panic um, in the Bitcoin community. Uh, I don't think that uh, you know him selling or no longer accepting Bitcoin is that big of a deal because he has said numerous times on Twitter that Tesla has not sold any of its Bitcoin apart from the original uh, little bit that they did to prove liquidity. Now, we will see if that is true or not uh, come the end of the quarter when they do their uh, balance sheets and everything like that, but we'll see. But as you can see, moving down through here, Ethereum is also down 15%. Binance is down 18% on the week. Cardano up 23%. And we'll talk about that here in just a minute. Dogecoin up 5% on the week, 2% down on the day. Scrolling through, as you can see, a lot of these coins are down on the day, and a lot of them are also down on the week. So what's going on? Have we entered the Bitcoin bear market that people have been talking about for the last you know, four or five months that we've been in what many would consider the bull market? I don't think we have enough data yet to say that we are in the bear market. I think, you know, if we are still in this position or lower after, you know, two, two and a half weeks, then maybe it's time to say, hey, we are in the bear market. But right now, you know, we did fall off earlier uh, the, in a week here last week. So not crazy, but it has been on the downturn. I think this could just be a little bit of a consolidation once we get a little bit more sturdy understanding here towards the end of the month what Tesla did do with its Bitcoin, if it still has it, how much it has, how much it's worth, all of that. I think we might start to see it go up assuming that they do still have it. Now Ethereum dropping down almost $1,000 from where it was just earlier this week. I think that's really just fear with what's going on with Bitcoin. You know. As much as uh, the stock market and Bitcoin don't control other coins, they still really do. You know, if Bitcoin's going to go up, so is the altcoins. If Bitcoin's going to go down, as you can see, so do the altcoins. But the one outlier here, at least in the week, uh, is Cardano. ADA up 23% on the week over $2. So what's going on with that is... Uh, People are hoping and expecting Cardano to be one of Elon Musk's choices for Tesla to start accepting cryptocurrency since it uses a lot less power than Bitcoin mining. Now, we don't have any confirmed evidence. This is just, you know, what people are expecting. And this is the same situation with Dogecoin. They're only up 4% on the week. They are still down on the day. And they are down quite a bit from where it was, you know, last week this time. You know, it did fall off last week this time. But, uh, you know, going back a little bit, a week and a half ago, you know, for the SNL, it was up around 70 cents. So it's still down quite a bit. But with that being said, I think what we'll see is... 
if Elon Musk does announce that, hey, we are going to be accepting this cryptocurrency, whatever that is, we don't have any concrete evidence that it's going to be Cardano or Dogecoin or a different coin. But once he does say that, I think what's going to happen is we'll see a lot more money come into the cryptocurrency market for that coin. If it's Dogecoin, I think we could easily see a dollar Dogecoin. If it's Cardano, probably 5 to $10 for Cardano as it goes up. Um, now, of course, that's just a prediction. There's nothing really behind that, just kind of what I think. Um, scrolling down here, you can see, again, we've got a lot of down, down, down. Um, the one coin that I was going to point out here is, of course, BTT. Down again. This has been talked about maybe for Doge or uh, for Elon Musk accepting for Tesla, but I don't think it's a very high contender. So I have this article that I did pull up here, which was written today, uh, earlier today. Bitcoin, Dogecoin lead wipeout over half a trillion dollars in Manic Monday for crypto. So the overall, uh, they kind of just go in a little bit what I talked about, some of the different coins, where they're at, and what they kind of think, as well as they talk about Coinbase and its public trading. So definitely really, really cool. Um, I will link this down below if you want to read about it a little bit more, but this is kind of where I got a lot of the information I just talked about when looking at the coin market cap. Um, and you know, I think we still have to give it a few more days, you know, about a week and a half here. And if we're still on the downtrend, then, you know, it might be time to say, hey, it is, uh, you know, it's kind of, it's over. Maybe it is the bear market here. But as you can see, Bitcoin dominance has been falling off quite a bit, indicating that we might be going into an altcoin season where we might see three or four months of really high performing altcoin prices. So we might see Litecoin go up, Ethereum go up, Dogecoin, Cardano, BTT, you know, the popular altcoins could start to go up now that we're falling down a little bit. But uh, this also was what happened when the last bear market begun in mid-2018. So we do just have to see, but that's kind of what I'm thinking is where we're going is let's wait it out another week or so. You know, there have been times where Bitcoin's pulled back and everyone freaked out. And, you know, just a few days later, it started going back up. So at this time, I'm not too concerned, but we will keep it be keeping an eye on it so make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you liked this kind of content and if you want to see kind of what's coming up in the future and stay up to date on cryptocurrency make sure you're subscribed but please like share and subscribe to my bitcoin tips youtube channel to learn more about spending collecting earning and investing different types of cryptocurrencies i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you in my next video bye